Planning a birthday party? Looking for invitations that are easy to create, have an animated flair, and can help you manage RSVPs effortlessly? You've come to the right place. Say goodbye to static images and the hassle of tracking down RSVPs. In this video, I'll guide you on transforming your awesome Canva birthday designs into interactive animated online invitations with the Create eCards Canva app, making RSVP collection a breeze. Let's start by searching for birthday invitation templates on Canva. I'll type in birthday invitations to reveal a plethora of templates on Canva. There are diverse themes, colors, and styles to choose from. If you have a specific concept, like a sweet 16 birthday, just type it in and you'll find invitations tailored for that theme. Feel free to select and personalize a template to suit your event's needs. There are options like superhero-themed invites for kids, elegant designs for a 40th birthday, sweet 16 invitations for that milestone celebration, and also an invitation for a quinceañera celebration. For this demonstration, I've chosen a kid's birthday party invitation to show you how to customize it and connect it with Create eCards to collect RSVPs from your guests. Once you've picked your template, update the details to align with your event specifics. For instance, you can update the birthday person's name, adjust the party date or time, and optionally add an address. To make the invitation lively and engaging, let's add some animations and then connect it to Create eCards. You have two choices here. One, incorporate animated elements from Canva's library. For example, I want to add some confetti to this invitation. I'll browse through all the graphics available. You'll notice some graphics behave like GIFs being animated. To focus on animated graphics, apply the animated filter, and voila, all visible graphics will be animated. Let's pick one. I'll add the chosen animation to my design. I'll position it so it's beneath all other layers, like so. Alternatively, you can manually animate elements within your design. To animate manually, select the element you want to animate, then click on Animate at the top. You'll find various animation options. For this example, I'll choose one of the add-on effects. I've decided on the wiggle effect. Clicking again lets me adjust the intensity of the wiggle. Let's apply the same effect to the cake. For the cake, I'll also select the wiggle effect, but dial down the intensity a bit. All right, so now this invitation is animated and we're ready to connect this to Create eCards. So I will go to Apps. Then I will search for Create eCards and I will click on this app. So I will hit Sync Design to sync this design into Create eCards. I will click on Export. Since I have only one image, just export this will be enough. But if I want to include all the animation I just added, I will need to embed this design later. I will show you how to do it in Adjust in a minute. All right, now let's click on Edit E-Invite. I can choose to style the rest of the buttons and backgrounds surrounding my design if I want to. You can change the colors here or the banners if you want it to have a softer shadow or hard shadow or no shadow at all. But I will do it later on the Create eCards website. So let's just hit Looks Good. Continue for now. This is the moment I will need to embed to embed the design to include all the animations. I can also include music if I want, um, but I need to embed the HTML code. So, since I've done it before, it's toggled on already, so you will see it like that. If you want to embed and include animations, you will need to toggle this on and then go to Share up here. If you don't see the embed option, click on See All, and then you will see it. And just copy the HTML code and paste it right here. Then you're ready to hit continue. This is an option to add a QR code to the invitation if you want to print it later. But it's not my case this time, so I will just hit continue. And now we can click here to go to the Create eCards website and add all the event details there so we will be able to send this to our guests and collect RSVPs from them. I will hit continue. You'll see a continue button here. Your task is to add your event's name and proceed to fill in all the event details. Start by selecting Invitation and then choose Create Invitation. Throughout the editing process, your invitation will be visible right here. Notice how it's animated, showcasing all the animated elements included in the design. Firstly, 
Ensure this option is toggled on to allow you to collect RSVPs from your guests. Add essential details like host names, event title, country, and the time zone. You can also specify the type of event if desired, and remember to include the start date and time. Adding an end time is optional, so it's up to you if you'd like to include it. You can also decide whether to add location details to your events. For an in-person event, you can input the venue name and provide the event's address. You also have the option to include a link to Google Maps or any other map application. Additionally, there's a feature to add a registry or request that guests bring gifts. It's possible to collect dietary or allergy information during the RSVP process. If the event is exclusively for adults, you can note that here. You can also specify whether guests are allowed to bring others and set the maximum number of additional guests per invitee. Should you prefer, you can switch the presentation from a slideshow view to a video view. By clicking on Edit Your eCard, you can opt for it to be displayed as a slideshow with all the animations playing like a GIF. Alternatively, choosing the video option allows you to add music using Canva. Let me quickly demonstrate how that's done. I'm starting off in Canva, and I'm going to click on Duration to view it as a timeline. From there, I'll navigate to Apps and head over to the main page of the Apps section. Next, I'll scroll down and click on Audio, where I can choose any audio track I like. If I have a specific track in mind, I can search for it. Once I've picked one, I'll simply drag and drop it under my invitation, so it includes music. Just a quick tip. If you're adding music, be sure to choose video and add sound or audio to your Canva design. Now, let's get back to customizing my event. I can add a meal option here, or if there's an event description or specific details I want my guests to know, I can include those. They'll appear right between the invitation and the important details. Let's move on to styling. I've already changed the colors in my Create eCards invitation, but just so you know, you can modify the colors of the banner and the buttons right here. You have the option to change the text color or switch up the wallpaper if you're aiming for a different look. You can adjust the banner shadow from soft to hard. And if I change the shadow color, it will reflect here just as you see. If you prefer curved edges, you can modify them as such and adjust this shadow as well. Feel free to experiment and customize it to your liking. If there's a specific logo you wish to add, you can do that here. Want a picture as a wallpaper instead of a plain color? You can add one here too. Now let's proceed to publish this event. The only thing left to do is edit the URL if you want to. I've already adjusted it by entering Emma's bidet into the URL. If there are any spaces or elements not suitable for URLs, they'll automatically turn into dashes, just something to be aware of. You can also add a web page title if you wish. Once you've published your e-card, you're ready to send out a link to your guests so they can RSVP. Simply copy the link from here. If you have guests who speak a different language, like Spanish, you can also change the invitation to their language. Switch over to Spanish, and when you copy the link now, it's for the Spanish version of your invitation. Let's take a look at what your guests will see when they receive this link. Here's the view your guests will have. They'll see your animated Canva design, followed by all the event details. When they click on the RSVP button, they'll go through a short process to provide their details, letting you know they're coming. Now, let's head back to the e-invite editor. To see which guests have responded to your invitation and who's coming, scroll down to Looking for your RSVPs and click on View Dashboard to access the dashboard. Alternatively, I'll show you how to reach the same place from the home page. Let's click on Home. On the home page, you'll see all your e-invites. To track RSVPs, click on View RSVPs. You'll see a summary of the responses, like having four replies, five attending and one apology, meaning five guests are attending and one is not. Below, you'll find a list of guests who have responded to your e-invite. For instance, one guest is attending with two adults, another with two adults as well, while one is attending alone. You'll also see those not attending, like this guest. If you go to guest list and answer, you get another view of who's coming or not. 
An analytics dashboard provides more data on your guests. For example, the five guests confirmed to attend are all adults. No kids are attending this event. If you've allowed guests to choose meal preferences, their selections are visible here. You'll also find a message wall where guests can leave notes when they RSVP. For example, one attending guest left a message, and so did one who isn't attending. All messages appear on the message wall right here. You also have the option to order party supplies from Amazon, with various related links available. And that's it! You've just created an animated birthday invitation using Canva and Create eCards. Ideal for kids' parties, quinceañeras, milestone birthdays, and any celebration. Save time, impress your guests, and effortlessly manage RSVPs. Click the link in the description to try Create eCards for free. If this tutorial was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Canva tips. Happy birthday planning!